What's going on, everybody? Sitting in Drew here with some coffee. All right. So today we're going to be doing a bit of a who did it better battle. We have our 151 versus the Crown Zenith. Right off the bat, I want to say Crown Zenith is probably way better with the pull rates. Um, full disclosure, I've opened up eight uh, tins, different kinds, and pulled nothing. So I have no idea what the hit rate is on these mini tins, but we're going to find out. And this one already looks like it's it's like bursting open. So let's uh, get this pack battle on. Crown Zenith versus 151. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's go Gengar first. Ooh, look at this coin. Nice little blue dark. I don't know, yeah, I guess I guess that makes sense. It's a little turquoisey. Kind of excited uh for uh Paradox Rift to come out. I don't know if anyone's starting to get sick of seeing 151. I kind of am. <laughs> as much as I love opening the set, I'm uh I opened up enough. Let's put it that way. Uh was such a horrible open. Get you guys the coat. Uh, one to the front. So this battle is going to be insane because not only that, these are the ones with the silver borders. Crown Zenith still has the gold borders and it's four to the front. So that's going to mess me up. Oh, look at that sparkle. Beautiful sparkle. We'll be putting that off to the side. Abra, Diglett, Drowsy, Protective Goggles, Arcana, Tentacruel, Executor, Grimer, oh, hey, we got a Mew EX, that's actually my third one, perfect, almost got a whole, enough for a, a deck, which would be hilarious. I will say that's probably my first hit so far out of eight tins of the 151. Don't know if you guys had any better luck than I did. Comment below and let me know what your pull rates were. Um, one to the front. Basic energy. Meow. Mankey. Executive. Uh, Clefairy. Radicate. Erica's Invitation. Ooh, we got Abra, oh, Metapod, and Kabutops. So, looks like you're kind of averaging maybe one hit per, but I'm finding out, I, I, I did get an, uh, an Arbok EX, so, I don't know. Don't know if these tins are worth opening or just keeping, keeping sealed. So let's go one, so we got one for one. Let's move these tins out of the way here. Move our hits up here so you guys can see. I'll have to get some sleeves for these bad boys. Let's go Crown Zenith next. Crown Zenith has so many fire hits. I totally forgot it had that Suicune uh, Illustrated Rare one. Oh my goodness, that was uh, such a sweet card. I've opened up plenty of these tins now. This is going to be like my 30, like almost 40th tin. And like I swear they, they put all the good hits in these tins. And uh, if you're going on the Pokemon Center, uh, there these things are running out in stock. Uh, this one was in stock, but up till like two days ago, it's now out of stock. So they only have the uh, this dude and uh, another one. So they're running out of stock. I would suggest you guys pick these up because they are so fire. Let's see what we get. I think you do get an automatic code card in this one. But it is four to the front. Oh, leaf energy. It's cool leaf energy. Krukarok, Lunatone, Solrock, Ponyon, Whalemer. Let's go. Come on. Nothing. And that's it. So we got a Berserker out of our first hit, or our first pack. Come on, Crown Zenith, don't let me down. I'm talking a big game about you guys. Four to the front. Bam. Electric. 
Shinx, Panjam, Snow Runt, Tangela. Oh, I think there's something back here. Hey, we got a Rotom V Star, guys. Nice. That's cool. So far, we got uh, a V Star hit. So right now, I'd say that Crown Zenith is winning. But then again, for value wise, that that Muse, I think it's what twenty dollar card. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Hit ratio, Crown Zenith. Value wise, definitely one fifty one. Still need to get that uh, Charizard. Still need to hit a God Pack. Have not been able to hit a God Pack yet. One to the front. With God Packs, do you always get a hollow energy? You guys, let me know in the comments below. Porygon. War Turtle. Hypno. Volira. Kabutops. Hitmonlee and a Vaporeon. Oof. Swing and a miss. All right, comes down to this. Hopefully there's an illustrated rare or better inside these. Because right now, I'm saying these tins are absolutely... I mean, this will be number 10 for me, you know, for tins. And I pulled two EXs, so... Maybe I'm having the worst luck. Maybe I'm having, you know, an average. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, average luck. This is good. Leaf Energy. Magmar, Shelter, Bellsprout, Horsey, Nidorino, Graveler, Arcanine, Hypno, Bill, and Vile Plume. Oh, swing and a miss, guys. All right, let's rip into this Crown Zenith. I was more, more excited for the Crown Zenith. I just wanted to do a comparison to see... You know, maybe the hit ratio is different. I swear Crown Zenith has a good hit in every single one of these tins, so. And also it comes with, uh, I, think it, I think it comes with stickers? Yeah, this is stickers instead of a, a pin or a coin. All right. And there's a whole slew of cards I need from Crown Zena. <laughs> These uh, tins are actually pretty good because they haven't been able to get too many doubles. I've so far pulled everything. Oh my goodness, I think that's four. Yeah. Everything single, no doubles yet. Although there are many ones I like to have doubles of. Oh, there's a portion. Aaron, Corkfish. Energy, Scyther, oh, hey, dang, Heatran, VMAX, Galarian Gallery, guys, I have not, this is, there you go, I have not pulled this one, what a fire hit, not focusing, it's GG47, nice, let's take a look at that. Nice, actually, round corners. Hmm. Not a bad card, not a bad hit. I think it's already decisive that Crown Zenith is definitely a way better hit ratio. I did manage to buy another 20 of these, so... I'll be opening up Crown Zenith for the next little while, that's for sure. I can never get sick of crowns, you know. Oddish. Seal. Oh, hey, they got their own hollow energy. I forgot they even had that. And a berserker in the end. All right, well, what do you guys think? It's, it's pretty much clear and cut. 151, although they have some pretty nice energies. The set, and you know, maybe a valuable card here and there, is virtually no comparison. Look at that. I got a VMAX, 
I got a Galarian Gallery Hatrina V Max. Ooh, look at that factory line. Those factory lines are nasty, bro. Looks like scratches, but it's oh man, it's really actually. Maybe it is a scratched. This is virtually pack fresh, but oh, it's not gonna pick it up. There's a whole bunch of scratches up this way too, which is sad. But we don't really care for that one as much as the others. So yeah, comment below. What do you guys think? Who did it better, Crown Zenith or 151? Thanks for watching and take it easy, guys.